The green light for night markets and food stalls to open from May sparked Chen Chuan's idea to start up a hot spot booth, a catering business chain to his seafood line that was greatly affected in the early stages of the pandemic. This wholesale market was where the 32-year-old worked for a decade. On January 1st, it was closed soon after China's first cluster of COVID-19 cases, reportedly related to the place, emerged. The cases caused a panic, and we were terrified. Orders dropped by about 80 percent from restaurants. I still had goods worth about 20,000 U.S. dollars inside, but none of us were allowed to enter, even to remove our product. Heroic efforts in China's hardest hit city and support from across the country led Wuhan to emerge victorious within three months, with the lockdown ending on April 8th. In fact, Wuhan took two months longer than other Chinese cities to get back on track, and its recovery in consumer market was a bit more cautious at the first. There was no immediate release of pent-up demand here. People were not completely sure the virus was gone. The economic situation wasn't very good, and the turnover was just about 10 percent of what we normally approach. So you could say the opening of our restaurant in May might be even worse than when they'd been closed. To stimulate domestic demand and protect small and medium-sized businesses, the local government issued 2.3 billion yuan, or about 350 million U.S. dollars, of online coupons. This also included massive coupons for catering, shopping, and tourism scaled up in nearly 50 Chinese cities. Wuhan authorities also provided target and prices with special loans, along with lowering and cutting rents and taxes. Cities around China had also reopened designated areas for night markets, roadside booths, and mobile vendors, which attracted Li and his friend Chen to start their nighttime business in June. It was beyond expectations from opening day onwards. Queues outside every day from 5 p.m. to midnight. Our business has reinvigorated the neighborhood. Wuhan's catering industry has recovered about its 70 to 80 percent, which is much better than I expected. So far, I'd say the epidemic fallout here is actually fading.